different. So I want to talk about two things in the tagline, as I said, right? You need to clarify your basically stated outcome. What is your desired outcome? And you need to simplify the path in order to get to that. So what do I mean by that? Well, when most people say, you know, I'm trying to lose weight. I, I want to be fitter. I would like to eat a bit healthier. Like these are again, statements that you probably say yourself or you just know people like it's, it's such a generic statement that it's in and out. Like it's in when you say it and then it's completely gone because there's no meaningfulness to it. There's no specificity to it. It's just literally, I, I need to do something if you will. Right? So one, figure out really what your outcome is. And if it is weight, well then I really want you to be as specific as you can. Hey Gareth, Meaning, okay, if it is truly 25 pounds, but is it just 25 pounds? Is it the pounds is kind of like the path to what it all is to kind of produce for you? Meaning, well, I'm going to feel more energetic. I'm going to be actually healthier, <laughs> right? I'm going to be stronger. Maybe I can do a race. I'm fitter. Maybe I'm just a better headspace up here. Um, I just have more energy. Like whatever it is, when you say weight loss is the end, end, ultimate goal in the weight loss itself, or is it much beyond that, right? So really think for a second. Hey, Tammy, really think about what your desired outcome is and is, exact, and is that kind of like your ultimate desire? Because if it's not, then it's kind of like level one, which I would probably argue that's what it is for many. The weight loss is kind of like one layer of your so-called end, what you, what's your ultimate self? Don't even say your ultimate body, right? But what's your ultimate self? Body, mind, obviously emotional relationships and, and financial and, 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 and obviously professional as well. But what is it? Make it so damn meaningful. You've got to go down that rabbit hole of why is it so important to you, but you really need to figure out what your end or at least kind of what's the multi-layerness of what maybe weight loss is. Because if it's not just, and I would argue, it's not just weight loss. You're probably thinking there's like three or four prongs that I'm trying to improve and weight loss is kind of like the big bulk of it, right? So that's the other thing. Because most people are like, kind of like, I want to do something, but they're so confused. Not confused with even what to do. They're confused with their own goal. Like they really are. They're vague. They don't really know. What do I really want? Because listen, when I hop on a call or I'm you know, chatting with people and what is your true outcome? What are you just so frustrated with that you would like to see in maybe six months or a year? Or what's your true vision of yourself? Maybe even super long. A lot of people, it's like crickets. They, they just like, ah, I don't really know where I am. And that's fine. Like that is actually very fine. We're not all, I don't mean that in any aspect of life, whether it's career, sometimes relationships to say like, I'm at my perfect spot or I know exactly where I'm going. You may need assistance with that. But what I mean is to kind of deep dive, right? Into exercise, right? In here, exercise yourself to kind of try to get some clarity, right? Because when a business, if you get any sort of coaching, like that's the whole point is to have a mentor or to have a support system that guides you in the direction that you go. And sometimes you need actually help to figure out even what that end goal looks like. So that's kind of first off, just try to see what that end goal looks for you and truly is it what you maybe think it is. And, 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 and then we can start because until you even have that, then my second part of this video, which is obviously try to simplify your path it becomes really hard because you're not really knowing where you're going, okay? So simplifying your path, meaning you just have to kind of scale it back. Like you really, really do. You make things so, or many people make things so complex, right? In terms of what needs to get done. So you need to just kind of start and say, what's the one, so hear me out. In order to simplify your journey or to the required path to reach your end goal, Think of a bottle, okay? Bottle of beer. Let's just keep it kind of simple. Bottle of beer, right? It's got the small hole on top. It's got that bottleneck, right? And then it flows out. Think of your bottleneck for a second. What's your bottleneck that's causing you to kind of be confused? To cause That's causing you to have a little time, right? That's causing you to have a lot of anxiety or just stress, uh, anxiousness, maybe even depression, right? That's causing you to be, right? That leads to the emotional eating. What are your triggers, right? What are your, um, you, just your roadblocks, your time barriers, your excuses? Because we all have bottlenecks and that will change obviously over time. But when you figure out where you're kind of going, truly what's your desired goal and make it meaningful in here, try to figure out what your bottleneck is. 
Maybe it's, and you can, again, categorize it on a piece of paper. Well, what's my bottleneck for time? What's my bottleneck for anxiety or, or stress, right? What's my, what's my bottleneck for exercise? What's my bottleneck for, for healthier eating? Because when you have that, then you could kind of say, well, where, where are you putting all your time? And I mentioned this in my newsletter that went out this morning. And if you're interested in hopping on, you can let me know and kind of, I can fire off, uh, add you to the email list. i um, trying to get a little bit more consistent with that. But I did talk about just the fact that you're spending a lot of time. Maybe you're saying like, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm putting effort in, but you're not getting the most out of it is because you may you be putting in a lot of negative energy necessarily that you're not addressing your bottleneck, right? So for sometimes with exercise, it might be, well, like a gym. This is just throwing shit out here, folks. But if you drive to the gym and it's basically with traffic and other things, like maybe it's the drive. Because once you get to the gym, yeah, it's all fine and dandy. But between a shower and then drive there and back, that might be, say, 45 minutes of shower and then drive there and back just to commute and getting ready, right? Versus, you know, the time for the workout. So then it becomes, hmm, do I actually have time literally daily, daily, daily or weekly to kind of get that in, especially if time becomes tight? Right, so sometimes home workouts might be, or just a different workout plan. Or on these days of the week, I do this, and then on days that I know I have more time, maybe I can do the gym. Or if it's food, right, it becomes where's your big bottleneck, right? Of well, I get I struggle, right? I struggle like three or four suppers of the evening because we we just get home and then the kids and we don't have nothing planned, and it's like well, let's eat for the kids because they're picky, and then I have end up having chicken nuggets and really crap foods. So your bottleneck is well, you need to kind of obviously look at preparing on those couple of days that you know all your schedule your your spouse and maybe your kid activities and things like that kind of is a lot so you need to be like well you know what on tuesday thursday and 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 whatever monday friday um we need to have suppers planned the other days are not so bad okay so if that resonates what i mean is just figure out what is really kind of like the bottleneck meaning like it, it just draws a lot of your time right? And think out how can you strategize to basically overcome that bottleneck of time, excuses, and things like that. Because I think then you have now a desired path, at least, or a little bit more strat a strategic approach to where you kind of want to go. And then, of course, your path is set up based on where you need to be right now, right? So your path always needs to be present. You can't choose a path that you would like. Well, I'd like to be five, six, you know, six days a week active, right? Because in order to be, that may not match where you currently are mentally and in terms of your schedule and just kind of where you are to kind of make a health change. You may not be right now at that level, right? So that's what I'm thinking is just scale back, find out the bottleneck areas, and then be specific with your um, desired goal. And I think 